Welcome to Q Light Speed Quiz. Light Speed Quiz 2019 number five. This is the final uh, program you'll see with two tilts, science and geography, mm. and pound black glasses and superb side at the Sam Smith pub, which is a boot shoe in Tokwith. Mm. Well, the option. Let's go. Uh, Michael so. Bartlett in the lead by two or three points. Good luck, everybody. Are we all on green? Yeah. Science, math, technology, nature, medical, chemistry, biology, astronomy, physics. With a sidereal period of 247.7 Earth years, what is accompanied by Michael? Neptune. I'm afraid it's not Michael. Hello. Oh, closer, everybody. Uh, Tony? Pluto. Yes, 247 is Pluto. Pluto. What is accompanied by Styx, Nix, Kerberos, and Hydra, and Charon? <laughs> so, uh, Tony Wansley. That, that was a great question for you. C C two H two O four Michael. You might be pausing me there. Uh, no, you can you can claim a mulligan if you want. It's going to be a satellite. C C two H two. I'm afraid I've got to do you. Hello. But thanks for your honesty. Appreciate it. I really do. C two H two O four is the formula of which acid found in root ramen? Oxalic. Oxalic acid is correct. <laughs> 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 and I said, Rue, they haven't got a good swimming. Clive, you've got quite an evil laugh, haven't you? Yeah, it's <laughs> a very evil laugh. By what name? By what name is the Lent or Lenten lily? Tony. Daffodil. According to. Oh, oh yeah, sorry, sorry, Steve. According to Philomena Kunk, who invented gravity? Michael. He did. True. It's Cumber. It's Cumber. It's Which moon was discovered by British astronomer William LaSalle on October the 10th, 18. Mike Lee. Like Triton, he discovered. He did. Yeah, 1836. Fuck. <laughs> 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 no, no, no. I'm going to the right answer. No, no, no. Steve, please keep that on film. <laughs> just, seven, just 17 days after the discovery of Neptune, believe it or not. So, uh, Mike Lee's you. Get an extremely well earned two points. <laughs> uh, I think I did that last month with some female singers. Yeah, what well. breed of dog? that could be either black, brown, or white and black, called Lanciers, was Nana, featured in Peter. Tony. You found Yep. Tony, ba 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 ba. And Tony gets the points. Bill. Are you happy with that, Mike Lee? Yes. Which red dwarf, <laughs> sleepy, happy, grumpy, which red dwarf, about 4.244 light years from the sun, Michael McBell. Alpha Centauri? Nope. Hello. Is, as of 2018, the nearest known to Simon. Proxima Centauri. Which mushroom is, is responsible for the vast majority of consumption fatalities in the UK? Mike Leaves. Portobello. <laughs> I'd have been dead years ago. Dave. Death cap. It is death cap. That's what I wanted to say. I'm going to get it out. Button. Do you get equally confused in it's a food line? When you get shocked in the supermarket. Chest. Here we go. Reset. Facts. Cytosine pairs with which of the other main bases? Don't be for adenine. That is one, isn't it? It's is not. It's not the right answer. It is, a, it is, it is one of the... Uh, oh. With which of the other main bases found in DNA and RNA? Dave. Tyrosine. Clive. Uruso. Tony. Glycine. It's got to be... Guani. Guani. Guani, that's one. That's the one. That's the one. Gavin Tillman, where are you when we want you? It was a 50-50 question. Which Italian physicist gave his name to the SI unit of electromotive for Dave? Volta. You were all, oh, that one, I can feel you. Buttocks clenching. 
metaphorically. Yeah, not literally. <laughs> Where would you find the stapes muscle, the smallest? Yeah. Clive, here. Here or there. A spectroheliograph images what? Yes. Maybe the sun. Absolutely. Wicked. Uh, still continuing with year four science. <laughs> Not HIV, though often associated with it. In 2016, there were more than 10 million active cases and 1.3 million deaths from which disease? Michael. It's. Nope. Hello. Dave. Still AIDS. Wrong. Simon. Hepatitis B. Stupid woman. 1.3 million deaths from which disease? The number one disease in terms of worldwide fatalities. It's Mike, uh, Michael? Malaria. Lee? Hepatitis C. Tony? Smallpox. Ashton? Pneumonia. No, it's tuberculosis. Oh, God. I've got pneumonia. Yeah, you. <laughs> This is the kind of question which Kevin yeah, Ashley hates. Really? Will you stop it, please? I just wiped my phone, sorry. What is the decimal equivalent of the fraction 9 over 25? Dave? 0.425. Tony? 0.625. Tony? Simon? 0.375. Lee? 0.36. Correct. Okay. Yeah. What surgical procedure removes the foreskin? Five. Surgical procedure. It's meant to be a buzzer quiz. Sex change does as well in most circumstances. In some circumstances. Kicking the ghoulies. On which planet did the European Space Agency's Schiaparelli? Mm -hmm. Mike L. Mars, no. You <laughs> I'll take it, I'll take it. Wicked. It's actually in like two behind first place. That's a hope and pray. Originally taken from sturgeon, name that substance, Tony. Um, what do we call it? That's a question. Ah. Michael. Yeah. Oh. Right, Simon. Oh, is he glass? I'm just glass. Yeah. Oh, yes. Now, blah, 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 cooked in a paste. Have a look at the questions the online when they appear. It was, wasn't it? Mm. It's a glass, yeah. 18. Which French engineer, along with Emile Levasso, began producing Norman? Eiffel. Nope. Yes. Yeah, this might be a net negative score for everybody. Yeah. Tony. Tacky. Michael. You won't use Martin up there. Uh, <laughs> Martin. Nope. Oh, Martin. <laughs> Hello. Simon. Panhard. It is Panhard. Well done. Oh, yeah, Daimler engines in 1890, blah 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 blah, to go on. Give any of the collective nouns defined by Wikipedia for spiders. Tony. Cluster. Yep, cluster or clutter. Getting Pretty good cluster. stuff. Might lead, we all cluster and clutter or we just no, no, something completely just, random. Hang on, did you get that one off the web?
Rotten rot rot yeah. Tomatoes. Uh, very good. Uh, close to our cut, and, and that was the end of uh, the last, last one coming up. Reset, please. Uh, yep. According to Agam Bansal at the India Institute of Medical Sciences, at least 259 people have died under what circumstance between October 2011 to November 2017? The average age being 22.94 years. Though he suggests that these reported ones are just the tip of the iceberg. Michael. Heart attack. Dave. Autoerotic asphyxiation. Nice, but <laughs> Norman. Snake bite. Tony. Suicide. Lee. Electrocuted on top of the trains. Will. Killed by tigers. Simon. Killed by yetis. No, Michael. <laughs> uh, killed whilst taking a selfie. Absolutely uh, correct. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Crazy, nice. but true. Yeah. Well, you imagine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, Michael, you get uh, kind of a useful two points for that. Yes. Prior to uh, just in a moment when we were watching the geography round, which we starting in a minute, uh, we have got uh, to have a look at the master scores and see where everybody else. All square on thirty points apiece. Tony Walmsley, Michael McPartland. One point behind. Ashton Davis on 29. Ooh, look. look at his little medal hanging around his neck. Quite yeah. right. <laughs> uh, then, we, basically, there's nobody else in the 20s. There's two teams on, two players on 20 apiece, and that's Dave Bill and Clive Dunning. Who would have thought you'd have been duking it out for like the, <laughs> the, the minor places? And, uh, yeah, that's all we're going to go at. I'm in the tablets dying, so. Yeah. Come on, Tony. Anyway. Let's see how this goes. We're on geography. The question is sent by Tony Richardson. He will be meaty, meaty, big and bouncy. I can guarantee it. Good luck, everybody. Geography Incorporated. Geography, social science, transport, flag. This is your last 20 questions of the light speed quiz number five of 2019. The Southern Hemisphere. This Southern Hemisphere city was first settled around 1300 AD. With a population of over 120,000, it is the seventh largest in its nation. It takes its name from the capital city of many of its 19th century European settlers. In January 2019, uh, 2019 the Welsh town of Harlech challenged which New Zealand city claimed to have the world's steepest Ashton. The name is correct, which puts you in the lead by one point. How about that? I'm, I'm gunning for you, Ashton, here, because I plan to lose money if Tony does well out of this. Oi. This range of hills was formed by the collision of the continents of Avalonia and Laurentia in the Ordovician period. Within the range are almost 40 peaks of over 500 metres, including the Schill, S-H-I-L, and the Kerr, C-U-R-R. The highest point at 815 metres gives the range its name. Many of the highest points in the range are inaccessible due to the location of the army training estate at Otterburn. Name the hill Lee. Achievements. Achievements is correct. Michael and Simon were in there. Lee, uh, Ashton, you weren't there at all. Spot on. Not at the races. I thought you'd have got that. This man is one of the most important figures in the social sciences. Oh, yeah. Taking an anti-positivist approach, he promoted methods of social research which would ga gain Verstehen of all understanding of the individual, their culture, especially religion, and their rational actions. A key yeah. thinker. It is Weber Clive. Not Luke. Affirmative. Yes, you the, the Slough of 20. 22. This national capital lies to the west of the Greenwich Meridian on the Bouvreg Greg River. Despite a metropolitan population of over a million, the city is, its only, is only its nation's seventh largest and attracts far fewer visitors than other cities such as Meknes. Found Lee. Morocco. Lee minus one. Lee Wolf. And now Ashton. Rabat. Rabat. This could nation's yeah. national yeah. capital. These people would once have been found on every continent, but nowadays they are found, found, mostly found in rural Asia and Africa. And the UN estimates that fewer than 40 million people worldwide now live in this way. Simon? No lands. Yeah. No land. Simon? Simon? Ba, 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 ba. <coughs> yes. Almost 90% of the population 
of this nation are Theravada Buddhists. The country... Oh, Michael. Cambodia. Yep. Tony. Bhutan. Nope. The country is in the location of the largest collection of Buddhist temples in one place. The area of... Michael. Cambodia. No. The country is the location of the largest collection of Buddhist temples in one place. The area of Bagan contains over 10,000 temples and is located in the Mandalay region of which... Who is that, Lee? Is it me? It's not Michael, is it? No. Yeah, Lee. Myanmar. Myanmar slash whatever. Right. 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 Taking its name from a hall near Leeds. This place at the foot of the presidential range in New Hampshire, USA. Michael. Carnegie. Hello. At the foot of the presidential range in New Hampshire, USA, lends its name to both an event in 1944 and the subsequent series of agreements which led to the... Ashton. Oh. <laughs> Yes, it was in Q12 a few weeks ago. No, you got it. Did you ask it? You can, no. Anyway, Brent Woods, Ashton. This island had an additional letter in its name until 1991. The extra H had been had added by the owner, Sir George Bullock. This is the largest of the so-called small islands in the Hebrides and is connected to the mainland by... Ashton. Rum? Yeah. <laughs> this city once contained the only branch of Harrods outside London. Oh my goodness, Dave. One series. I was really called Holy Mary of the Fair Winds. <laughs> holy moly, what a great answer. Yeah. This hypothesis was first proposed in the book The Old Straight Track in 1921. Unlike annotations made by the Ordnance Survey, you won't find these on any conventional geography, geographical or geological map. Coined by Alfred Watkins and revived by Ashton. No stopping it. Absolutely no stopping it. When you're hot, you're hot. Correct. Read the questions when I put them up there recording. Lying on the Montague Fault, this nation is subject to a regular seismic activity and moved its capital city for a third time due to an earthquake in 1773. An earlier capital city was damaged by a volcano and the most recent will. Indonesia? I'm afraid not will. Idiot. Uh, this nation, sorry. An earlier capital city was damaged by a volcano and the most recent eruption of the volcano, Fuego, in 2018. What this Latin? Simon? Ecuador? No. Stupid woman. Mike L. Argentina. Dave. Belize. Wrong. An earlier capital was damaged by uh, brought this Latin American nation into the news worldwide. The ancient capital of La Antigua is now a UNESCO. Oh. Uh, Lee. Uh, no, Ashton. Ashton. Yeah. On the back is disgusting. Ashton. It's a fix. It must be. A fix is in. This suffix. Yes, this suffix is used in over 30 English place names and used on its own is the name of an English city of 120,000 people. The suffix, Dave. Bath. No. Wrong. Ashton. Chester. I can believe you teach our children. Yeah, but it's just don't <laughs> Where's the thing on there? A classic piece of <laughs> social... <laughs> A classic piece of social research and hugely influential on positiv positiv positivist thinkers, this is the one word title and subject matter of the most famous work by 19th century sociologist Emil Durkheim. Clive, who is that? Affirmative. A folk story suggests that this sea is named after a Cuban prince killed nearby 
Simon? Oh, sorry, Caspian. Oh, unlucky, no, I can definitely <laughs> see where you're coming from. But, the Cuban. 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 After Cuban prince Kilnir by 1067, although it was known as the Fish Sea to the Ottomans, another myth that supports the belief that this sea was created as part of a, of a catastrophic flood, as described in many Michael. Sea of Marmaris? I'm afraid it wasn't. Hello. Norman. Aegean. No. Plebeian. Ashton. Black Sea. No. I can't believe you teach our children. Mm. Another myth supposedly that it is described by many religious texts, and that is part of the Black Sea deluge of 5,600 and... Will? Sea of Asof. Correct. Leave this out when I can see you. I knew you knew it, CJ. A native of this state, a native of this state is known locally as a Bagheli or Bundeli. With a population of over 200 million, this state would rank as the world's sixth most populous nation if classed as such. Michael? Oh, Pakistan's 200 million. Uh, no, it's... Tony? Tamandu? No. Taki? Ashton? Uttar Pradesh? I want another question to see it all. The origin of this modern day nation, the origin of this modern day nation dates back to at least the 6th century BC. During World War II, it briefly belonged to Bulgaria. In more recent times, the nation became a member of the UN in 1993. A signatory to the Prespa Agreement in 2018 named the nation whose people voted to alter its name. Michael? Macedonia or North Macedonia? Yeah, that's to put it both ways because the question was very ambiguous there. Mm -hmm. But understandably, given the recent nature of that, North Macedonia I, uh, and Macedonia is all very good. When it applied for your membership, it was just Macedonia. A famous example of this type of geographical feature was the subject of a 1941 Ansel Adams photograph taken in the Rocky Mountain National Park. This geographical feature is formed by glaciation and is usually classified as either terminal or lateral. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Lee! Moraine! <laughs> moraine, 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 moraine! Spot on! 18! Two to go. Uh, don't get too excited at the end because I've got to go through the, the next scores and the growth scores. In a series of social experiments between 1961 and 1963 at Stanford University, Albert, uh, yes, Mike Lee. Oh, well done. Yeah. What? Oh, well done. Yeah, yeah, yeah sorry, sorry, my, my bad. I'm that used to negging you that I actually... <laughs> just Come on. I know psychology, that's the one thing I do. We're know. called both of the subject in blah, 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 blah. There's a reason for that. <laughs> Built. <laughs> Built as a Hindu place of worship to the god Vishnu in the early 12th century and resembling Mount Meru, the place of the gods, the name of this religious site literally means Temple City. Michael. Michael what? He's going to show us. And the final question of today's quiz. Thank you very much for participating, people. The main settlement of this city dates back to Roman occupation of Pannonia Inferior. In, and he did write this question in this set. Sorry, um, I'll let you off, Mark, because no, 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 I, I, I digressed. You did. Uh, Roman occupation of Pannonia Inferior in 106 AD. During World War II, Swedish diplomat Raoul Wallenberg saved the lives of many Jewish people in the city by arranging Swedish diplomatic papers. The Nazi occupation of the city was the second of three occasions during the 20th century when the city was effectively under foreign control, Simon. Budapest. Tuesday morning, I'll be there. <laughs> Can you put that in? So, Simon, well done. Yeah, well done. Yeah. Yeah. Um, is there anybody to talk about uh, in this particular like, Really well, but five normally be worth talking about. If it was me with five, it'd definitely be worth talking about. But Ashton, why do you have a polite round of applause for Ashton on this? Yeah. Now, going to the, uh, the, 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 the net scores. If Henry can spot, uh, well, we, can, we know who's won on the net uh, with 77, but unbelievably there are three, there was one on 68, and there are one, two... There's Norman on 76. I think Norman, we're going to breathe this, and you've lost by one. 
Will Gorthin, you get 25 quid. Give him a lovely round of applause. Can you, can you pass that round to Ashton? Uh, there you very much. Uh, in second place on 76, I, I, uh, Norman, it is £20. Pounds. Can you pass that to him, please? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And for, uh, for a measly money back, I believe the next is at 68 by one point, Tony Wormsley, uh, who carried all the hopes of my leaves <laughs> on your <laughs> road. Uh, uh, fans of Steve Kidd, Fan. In fact, both, both of you. Uh, <laughs> you're pleased to know that I've just taken six quid off Mike Lee's on, on that particular result. I actually, I actually thought Tony were, Norman was going to do that. But uh, I think the most em emphatic thing about today, in third place overall, on 28, Tony Walsley. <laughs> Michael McPartland on 31. Bearing in mind at the beginning of the geography round, Ashton and Worth on 29 and one point behind Tony and Michael. Uh, his, I think that may be one of the tilt performances of all time in light speed quiz. Absolutely magnificent. You, you, the hole must have looked as big as a bucket when you're taking those putts at that one. Uh, and it's also, if you don't mind me saying, put maybe any vestiges of last month's fantastic victory to bed in that you look at who round you know there was some big beasts there today yeah some big beasts big beasts no, no, it was big beasts uh, uh, you know what I'm getting at don't you yeah. here that is one of the nicest wins I've ever seen in light speed quiz and I'm going to regret saying that because give people an inch they'll take a mile he's going to win three out of the next six uh, give Ashton a huge round of applause round will be at Walton Moor on the 30th of June, which is the anniversary of the battle during the Civil War. We've moved out of the kind of roses phase, and it looks like we're in the Civil War now, doesn't it, Simon? Mm -hmm. And so it's at Walton Moor the next time. You will maybe just see this after we've had the last one, so what's the point in talking about it? The point is, look up Lightspeed Quiz on Tinterweb and join in. What's the programme? You can send us a quid. I don't do any of this crap like putting adverts in your face or asking you, you know, to, you know, put firewalls up. But hell's bells help us. It's a great thing we're doing. It's a, and these guys are really joking. But come and join us as well. Thank you so much for joining in and congratulations, Ashton Davis. Hey.